Hello everyone, it's your options guy. Welcome back to another video. So in today's video, we're going to talk about Palantir. And Palantir had a really good run today. It's up basically 5%. And there's been a lot of talk about Palantir specifically with Wall Street bets and like in the news in general. And just recently, there's been even more discussion about what ARK just did with Palantir. So we're going to go over a lot of things. We have a lot to cover. So number one, we're going to just talk about Palantir and then we're going to Go over it and try to figure out like what's going on with the news and stuff like that then i'll basically show you guys what what's happening in the option world um basically where's everyone putting their bets in for palantir do they think it's going up going down we'll take a quick look at an, some analysis uh take a look at this chart and try to decipher of, of what's happening where it's going from there we'll even take a look at what arc is doing how much they have in palantir as of right now and how much they recently sold so we have a lot to cover, but before we get into all of that, I just want to emphasize I'm not a financial advisor. It's just for entertainment purposes. Make sure you check out my channel. Hit that subscribe button the same way you hit that ask on Palantir on dip days. And if you like what you see, uh, make sure you give a like, you comment. All right, so let's get into it. So Palantir, a really good day today. It's been surging. It actually surged up to 6% at one point. And I think I think that was the highest, like 6.38% at one point. So really good day for Palantir. It's getting really close to touching, retesting that 30 again. So let's take let's take a look at what's going on. So basically, based on this article, it says trading volume was nearing 34 million at publication time. And basically, uh, Palantir recently broke through the strong resistance near 2750 and has seen continued momentum since. Also. It continues to get attention from Wall Street Bets forum. So, and yet again, Wall Street Bets taking action. Palantir. So, yeah, all in all, um, basically that's that's all that's that's happening. It's just momentum's picking up with Palantir. So let's take a look at the options. So overall, option data for today it's bullish. So something interesting is that there's some dark pull orders over here on the right hand side. Now again, we don't know the dark pull orders is buying or selling, but it's, you can see the amount, 24.7 million, 5.8 million. So the, the best way you can try to figure out if it's a buy or sell is just by looking at like the momentum of, of what's happening in general. So since it looks like there's a lot of buying, you could assume that you know there, there is some buying going on as well. Anyway, so let's take a look at like where the biggest money went. So this was almost a million a million dollar order for expiration of 2022. So a couple months out, strike 24, and then the second base one is almost half a million or 402 thousand. So this is oh dang, this is actually pretty big, and this is just expires tomorrow, and they're basically betting that it's gonna stay above 27. So they're probably already in the green. But they did execute this kind of late in the day, so they're probably expecting even more uh, momentum up or upside. So yeah, pretty interesting on that one. So let's just take a look at the ones that are expiring tomorrow. All right, so these couple right here are 9.24, and so far all bullish for tomorrow. So as you can see, it's 27, 28 are the strikes. So still looking pretty bullish. Uh, some pretty big orders here. And then right after that is the October ones. The following week, 30s are right here. So yeah, overall it's looking pretty bullish. Um, nothing, to, nothing uh, looks like it's above. Well, there's a couple that looks like they're above 30. So there's not that many above 30. But overall, it's in the high 20s. So yeah, overall bullish for today. So now let's take a look at the chart. So as you can see here, I basically plotted this little cup and handle um drawing like a long time ago i think it was like a couple weeks ago and i said like oh look it's a cup and handle you know it might follow this direction so it kind of followed that direction similarly but as you can see here basically we had a strong support at 21 and then we had a strong resistance around 27 and then we broke above that resistance so now basically like the gap is between 27 and 30 so that's kind of like where it's where it's at right now so if i zoom in a little bit you can basically see that yeah, Palantir dipped a little bit. It kind of like retested that 27, but that was with the whole like market sell off and Ever Evergrand uh, FUD that that happened. Otherwise, it could have like, you know kept on going higher potentially. 
So this is basically like, like the trend that it's heading. So it may seem like it's gonna retest at 30 again and then dip from there. So as it gets closer to 30, people are, or at least option traders or short-term investors, they're most likely gonna sell around this range. So do expect the pullback around 30, especially as uh, if you look at the RSI, as we, we're getting closer and closer to that overbought range. So as we get closer to here, you know, people start taking profits. And then if you look at this pattern over here, you know, people start taking profits here and then it, it like resets back down. So, you know, just kind of expect that if, um, but if it breaks 30, then, then, um, it's potential it has potential to keep going higher because if we take a look at what the next resistance is past 30, it's looking like it may be around the 33 range. Yeah, around the 33 range. So it might be the next the next gap if it breaks this resistance and if it keeps rallying from there. But honestly, what I expect is it might touch that 30 range and then have a pullback again. Anyway, so now let's take a look at what what Arc did today. So so this is basically the email that I get because I'm subscribed to Arc. So the thing that was shocking or slightly shocking was that they sold pounds here and they sold a good amount. So they sold 1.4. Uh, million shares here in the RK, and then they even sold some in the ARK W, so 375. So, uh, two things. So, number one is they do tend to sell like every now and then. Um, they even sell Tesla and stuff. So, they sell for like you know, obviously, two reasons one would be like profit taking, or two would be for uh, restructuring their e ETFs and stuff because. You know, at certain points, if they want if they want to buy more like other stocks or or whatever, they have to like sell some here and there. So, so you could take that into account. Or um, I think I don't think this is like something to be worried about that they sold almost like two million shares. The thing that would worry me is that like if I was like um, from from perspective of a pound to your investor, is if 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 uh, tomorrow you see Arc doing like the same amount of selling, like a good amount of like another million or so selling tomorrow as well, and and even even more on Monday because that's kind of like an indication that hey you know maybe they're starting to pull out of like the stock and you know so I saw the same thing um, happen with Workhorse, so for Workhorse they were pretty heavily invested and then I I think they realized that Workhorse wasn't gonna go anywhere with because they didn't get the uh, the contract for the, um, the the USPS contract, so ever since then, they kind of just been like selling and selling, and then it like it was like a week or so, a week or two or so of just like continuous selling until they sold everything. So, so yeah, um, I think uh, as of right now, I don't think there's anything to worry about unless if you see more selling, you know, consecutively in the next couple of days, then then you know watch out for that but anyways let's take a look at their arc um k etf so this is the holdings i don't know if this is fully updated it says as of 9 23 but i don't i haven't been checking like for sure if it's like updated updated as of right now but anyways um based on this it says that pounds here is on number 11 so it almost made the top 10 but that's pretty high up there especially because rk is kind of like their their i would say their better etf Sorry, innovation ETF. So, being in the number eleven, that's pretty high up there already. And you can see that their weight is around three percent, three point three three point three one. So they might bring it back down a little bit to three percent or a little bit under. But they still have like overall like what seven hundred and eleven million invested in Palantir. And this is just from their Arc ETF that they have more um, Palantir and, and other ETF. So. So yeah, that's basically like the news. That's basically what's happened. So overall, you know, again, Palantir, really good uh, day for Palantir. It's, it seems like it's gonna retest that or getting close to retest at 30 again. We'll see what happens tomorrow. But then again, like, you know, uh, ARC is selling. So just take into consideration that they have to reweight their, their holdings and they have to sell some here and there. I wouldn't be too worried about it unless if 
you know, you start seeing like consecutive selling and in, in big chunks, then, you know, that's something you might want to look out for. Anyways, that's it for today's video. If you liked the video, make sure you hit the like button. Go ahead and check out my channel. Check out like what I'm talking about. If you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. Leave any comments if you have any questions. And thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.